I had to adjust my filming situation a little bit. I have the sun coming in on an angle. I have a parent-teacher conference that I'm trying to get to, so I thought I would try and film this super fast beforehand, but I'm starting my 2019 Project Polish. I am fully aware it's a little bit into the first part of 2019 already, but that's okay. I'm gonna try and make up the time that I've missed by working through polishes a little bit quicker than I did last year. Last year, I kind of dropped the ball with all of my projects for the most part, but I'm really gonna go in hard, at least for the first part of the year with Project Polish. So this is my swatch wheel for the beginning for my intro here. I have a wide variety of some darker colors, some lighter ones, some that I can add some little details to, and I think that it'll work out really well for the first part. So starting off with the very first one here that looks barely there, like almost a clear nude kind of polish. It's actually what is on my nails right now. This one is from Julep, as you can see right here, and I do have a mark right there. These Julep polishes don't have a ton of actual polish in them. They actually have a little bit less than the standard nail polish bottles do. They have just a smidge over the halfway mark. They have 0.27 fluid ounces instead of 0.50. And the first one that I have here is in Jennifer. I'm around the halfway mark on this one already. Um, this one is very sheer on the first coat. I usually have to put between two to three coats on. Uh, the reason why I do have it on my nails now is because I'm gonna go to Chicago for a couple days and if my nails chip, it's not gonna be too noticeable. So this one is also really great because it is so sheer. I could do like a DIY French manicure and put like a white tip at the ends of my nails and it would look really great. So this is my first polish. Moving on to the next one here on the swatch wheel, it is this really bright kind of mustard yellow shade. And this one, it get, it's a little finicky, but this one is from the drugstore. This is part of the Sally Hansen Hard as Nails Extreme Wear Polish. And this one is in the shade number 349 Mellow Yellow. As you can see right here, it's pretty full, but I do have to put between three and four coats on the nails. That's what bothers me about this polish in particular. Yellows are so difficult to get the right color but once you find the right color, then you have to find a formula that you don't have to put three to four coats on. Um, I do know that Color Club has a very beautiful bright yellow polish. It's called Almost Famous. It's almost the perfect yellow polish, but anyway, this one, you do have to put a couple coats on this one, but that's its only drawback. I think this would look really cool with a matte top coat on it. So I'm just uh, hoping to get through this one pretty quickly this year. This one has a little bit less than the standard nail polish bottles. This one has 0.4 instead of that 0.5, but you can see my mark up there. It's very high at the top. I'm just hoping with me having to add three to four coats every time that I use it that it will help me move through it a little bit quicker. The next one on the swatch wheel is actually another one from Julep. It's this mint guy right here, but this mint color, I had a mint shade in my 2018 Project Polish that was from Color Club. It was a beautiful formula, but this one's just a little bit different of a tone. It's more muted, but I feel like it almost has a little bit more blue to it. So this one is in the shade Cam, and if you look on here, I am, I don't know, maybe a quarter of the way through this one, a third of the way through this one already. This one's a pretty thick, opaque polish. You could, if you're extremely careful, you could probably do one coat with this one, but I would probably just do two coats just to make sure everything's clean, all the brush strokes are gone. I'm just really excited to get another mint polish out of my collection. I have so many of them. So anyway, Cam is the third polish. Moving on to the fourth one that I have for this round, starting out the year, is one from China Glaze. This one is essentially full. So if you look on the swatch wheel here, it just looks like a really nice kind of like bright Barbie pink, but it does have have a super micro fine glitter, like a gold micro glitter running through it. So this is what this bottle looks like here. I'm at that mark 
right there. That sun is really obnoxious at the moment. So this one's essentially full. This will probably take me at least half the year to get through. This one's in the shade 716 Strawberry Fields. And I do know that this one is a permanent shade. I would say this one will probably take two coats and it would look really nice on the nails. Next up is another one from Julep. And this one I've only used uh, probably three, four times maybe. This one is in the shade Ilga. And this one just looks like a very dark red, but it's interesting because if you put one coat on the nails that has this berry tone to it, it's not really coming out true to color in this video, but maybe if I paint it on the nails, you could see the true tone a little bit better. With the first pass of this polish here, it almost has this pretty purplish berry. So I feel like that will fix my need to wear a red because it can come off looking very red, just like a very deep red. So anyway, it's much darker than my shirt, as you can see. It's it's probably in that berry red family, kind of a hybrid, but I really enjoy this formula. I like the julep line, but um, I'm trying to move a lot of them out just because they have very little product in them compared to some of my other polishes. And then the very last polish that's here, I did not put a top coat on it, so it doesn't look very shiny. It just looks like a textured polish there, but that one is actually from Zoya. Look how beautiful that is in the sun. When the sun hits that, the sparkles in this is just stunning. This is one of my all-time favorite Zoya polishes. This is one of their Pixie Dust polishes. This one's in the shade Dahlia. I don't have a mark on this because I'm gonna have to use some kind of, maybe I'll use the pink or the yellow uh, polish in my project to make a mark on this one because you can see that uh, silver line of demarcation in this polish, hopefully. Um, if not, I am right above my nail right here in this polish. So it's so beautiful. I love a straight up black nail polish, but this one with all those glitters packed in here, it's stunning on the nails. I feel like I could wear this one year round. I usually reach for this one more in the cooler months, the winter time especially, but I'll, I'll reach for a black year round. So I don't think that they'll ha I'll have any issues getting through this. This one does have that standard 0.5 fluid ounces in the container, so it'll take a little bit, but I like to put two coats of this on the nails. And then once I put that shiny top coat over it, generally I'm using Sesh Vite. It dries incredibly fast and it just leaves the shiniest finish and you can see all the little glitters shining in the sun, in the direct sunlight. It's gorgeous. I definitely recommend this one from Zoya. It is a stunner on the nails and again, once you put that top coat over it, it doesn't have that gritty feeling that some of the pixie dust polishes from Zoya do. So anyway, these were the six that I am starting out with, the six polishes. So let me know if you're doing this project this year. Hopefully I'll be able to finish off more than six polishes <laughs> than I did last year. Usually I can finish off at least 10. I think one year I finished off 14 or 16 polishes. So as long as I'm applying them to the nails regularly, I don't think that I'll have any issues getting through more than six. But anyway, that is it. It's getting super dark. The sun's trying to go down and I have an awning here so that that just makes it even worse. But I need to get off to the parent-teacher conferences. I really appreciate you guys watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.